we conclude the first letter in Igeris HaKadosh, in the holy letters, epistles of the Alter Rebbe. In the conclusion of this letter, it spoke about uh, strengthening our faith through the study of Torah and through prayer. That prayer is the auspicious time that we can sustain support uh, give strength to ourselves to internalize our faith um, which we went into great length the meaning of that now you know, the Rebbe concludes in a very strong manner of, about how prayer should be conducted and particularly speaking about a minion a quorum of men and the Alter Rebbe says, I once more put forth a second time, with additional explanation, a twofold request to Anash, to the Hasidic Brotherhood, those that are near and those that are far, that on the weekdays, businessmen who don't have much time because they're in business, they should not lead the congregation in prayers. They should only uh, have leading the service the people who are either teachers or studying Torah. Um, they should lead the prayers in order to give ample time for the prayer service. Which Yaltadev says weekdays, an hour and a half. Um, I don't think today that's really um, too, too many places that occurs. Actually, in our place probably you know, anywhere 45 minutes to an hour but an hour and a half and anyways in any case the idea is give to the people to lead the service who can make a lengthier service and not rush because of business and it should be chosen by consent by lottery or by consent of the majority of the congregation and that person should gather around themselves the leader of the prayers um, people who are also engaged in their prayer. You know, it's not rushing through it. And the alternative says, this arrangement, I beg you not to change. I beseech you. On Shabbos and on holidays, festivals, however, those who are businessmen who have now the time and opportunity because there's no business to be done on Shabbos and festivals, and they have the opportunity now to pray at length, to to be devoted in concentrated and heartful soulful prayer and and they have more the duty than others because during the week they don't have that opportunity um, as it says six days of day, days of, uh, you shall work on the seventh day should be a Shabbos so Shabbos should be devoted completely to Hashem in your prayers and they too can step down before the congregation and lead the congregation and according according to lot lottery or by you know majority and the altar Rebbe says it is my intention and he's just underlying over here underlining how important prayer is to the altar Rebbe and that he wants to inspire his chassidim that i in my intention is to send secretly spies to the congregations to and they the way they will notify me that who is slothful in their prayers now there's those that could extend themselves to pray and they just you know say a bunch of words or whatever slothful back then it wasn't just a bunch of words um that the way people pray but they would not you know give themselves the allotted time to meditate, concentrate on prayer. And he says they will be punished by being estranged, distanced with two hands from coming to hear Hasidic teachings, meaning from the Alter Rebbe. From the negative, you can infer the positive. The more you're generous you'll be with your time to pray, the more you will be warmly welcomed. Pleasant be the lot of those who hearken 
May the blessing of the goodness light upon them. And there is no good but Torah. Let's see how together concludes the first letter. Very powerful idea of how important prayer ought to be for us. Now, that was back in the day that, you know, things were very measured. You get what you deserve. And that's what happens in life in general. But here it is in holiness, in particular, you get what you deserve. The more you put into it, the more is what you get out of it. The more you effort there is, the more the reward is. In spiritual terms, that's the fact. In non-spiritual terms, not necessarily that way, but in spiritual terms, yes. So the Alter is saying, you put in the effort in prayer, prayer being so important because it internalizes everything that we do, everything that we learn here. That's why I speak about, about you know, meditation in prayer and what we do in TRC to have a meditation that we can include in our, in our prayers so that everything that we learn and the fundamentals of what we learn in particular should be internalized. And that's the beauty of prayer. And that's what the Alter Rebbe is very uh, succinctly saying. That those who make the effort will have great gain and those who don't. So imagine. We're talking about real chassidim here. Because for them to hear their Rebbe, the Alter Rebbe, say words of Hasidic, uh, uh, you know, Hasidic teachings is essential to their lives essential to their lives so he's hitting them in a very you know um, meaningful manner in a punishing way he's not saying well you won't have livelihood because of this you won't have uh, you know other things in your life but what's most important to them Hasidic teachings well the Hasidic teaching should just be teachings, that they should be integrated and become part of us. So we learning to live, as, as we call in TRC, learning to live. Um, prayer is important to give us that, you know, manner of internalizing all of the teachings. And that concludes the... First letter.